I gotta get, we gotta make it. I don't have a computer, I am a robot. Yeah, with like the the original concept for the song had uh, a lot of electronic instrumentation. Had it just, it was like a mellow house tune. And when well, when Terry got a hold of it, it was just over. Like he just pumped so much adrenaline into everything that you start feeling it too. And actually, because of him, that's that's really changed the way I sing entirely. Because uh, I would have to scream everything. All right, Terry's got huge energy. But sometimes, sometimes you just want to like put a bag over his head and and try to you know try to control. Yeah, when he plays live, he really everybody comments about him. <laughs> Where did he come from? I do want to get one almost fucking. There. I do want to get one take of how we do it the old way. Okay. Just in case it almost breaks up the van and we actually have to have a good take of it. Just gonna come to that because I will fight. I'm very particular. About I forget what, parts. I forget. It's true. What we left it at, anyways. We didn't really leave it at anything. We never well, yeah, really okay. solidified anything, yeah. but it was supposed to be like a live album really at first, uh, with no vocals, and we we're gonna overdub it, but it did really work out. So six day of recording. We did five days. We got five tracks, one track per day. And now it's the first day of overdubs on Terry. Terry's not here, the drummer, because we don't need him. No one need him. We don't need him. We don't need Terry. It feels so good to see him. Only because he was so perfect the first time around, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Only because he was so perfect the first time around. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll play it biting my tongue if I don't like it. If I have to. For the band, because that's kind of fucking sacrifice. I What's Dan? It's fucking true, man. Sometimes, you made me play a lot of fucking bullshit. Fuck you, you made me play a lot of fucking bullshit I didn't want to play. And did you end up loving it in the end? Not all of it. Okay. Not all of it, so. Well, we don't play the stuff that you don't love. But so. I only did it because I was, we used to play Griffin stuff, right? Now that we're playing the new Griffin, like the Griffin, uh, Max Power Griffin. Whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Now that we're playing the new stuff, Max. it's imperative that my drumhicular voice be heard. Griffin so be it. And uh, it's, it's fucking, it's important, man. And, uh, we did about, uh, I think, six takes of a certain part in my line. We took the beginning of my first take and the ending of my last take and spliced them together as per my request. And then, as what George wanted, is we actually ended up splitting it at a different spot than I wanted. He had moved it to a different spot to split the two together and it sounds better, so. Compromise. What do I love? Holy cow, everything. We just create this incredible musical moment that's, that's you know, not comparable to anything in this world, really. I mean, you can go on the most acid trips, you can have the most incredible sex, or you can do this, the most insane things, you know, to give you that that incredible feeling. But it's nothing like that, you know. This is uh, this is very specific feeling, and it's uh, it's only with these guys I've ever felt that, you know. And that's what makes the chemistry so incredible. Okay, uh, blow away came from when I was working at. Um, the Red Room, and uh, there were, the cool thing about working in restaurants is like how um, you can't really hear all the music, or working in any kind of environment where the music is playing, you can't hear all the music entirely, you just hear like certain elements pop in and out of your uh, conscious, you know, when you're thinking about it or when you're not thinking about it, it kind of seeps in. <laughs>
frustrating thing personally is that I just want to just come and play and get my yayas out, you know, because this is the only place I come to play. So when these guys want to talk band stuff, I'm thinking, no, man, let's just play, let's just play. So there is the business aspect, there is the communication aspect of the band that you really got to, you know, you really got to get done. It's like, first and foremost, you got to talk about stuff and decide what we're doing and then play. But for me, it's always just the love of playing. <laughs> Okay, this song's gonna be kind of like a house tune. So just think house music when I'm playing this, trying to get that rhythm going. He's like, he comes up to me afterwards and says, "Okay, dude, I, I don't know what house music." Means. <laughs> so do you want a '70s rock? <laughs> <laughs> Should I pull my walk up? '70s is good. I could do that. Yeah. When it came down, to indeed, happening. He was very good about it. Yeah, he was like, very, very good about it. It's okay, it's really okay. Easy on me. Well, once again, Steve, thanks for lending us all the equipment for so long. <laughs> that was great.